hello my name is diana welcome to my channel today we are doing an old holy swimwear bikini haul um this is uh the same order i ordered last time it was the same order as the dresses but uh, i didn't have a chance to review the swimwear so i wanted to go ahead and do that and looking at old holy swimwear for quite some time now and it looks really nice and very pretty and i really wanted to try it so i thought i'd do a little mini haul with you guys Opoly swimwear is sold in separate pieces, so you can buy the top and bottom separately. So if you need two different sizes, that wouldn't be an issue. You could buy a different top size and a bottom size. They did provide pretty good, I would say, model information on their website for their swimwear, just as they did for their clothing. Again, the shipping took a little over two weeks to get here, and I thought it would actually be shorter because they're coming from the UK. It's a British brand. So I thought because I live on the East Coast, it wouldn't take it wouldn't take so long, but it actually did. I think their warehouse is in California, like I said before. So the product had to go fly all the way from the UK to California and then back over to me on the East Coast. So that was rather inefficient to try their swimwear because it looked really cute on the model and they looked really itty bitty. And I really liked little tiny thin straps and it looked like they had a lot of styles that had really small skinny straps. So without further ado, let's get started. I didn't know that when I first bought their bikinis, the bikinis mostly I looked at was actually from a company called Nina Swim. Um, they, I guess, uh, Opoly carries their swimwear and this is actually a swimwear brand and they have their own website. So you can buy it on Nima's, uh, Nina's website or on opoly.com. But this is what I was talking about with the skinny straps. That's what I was really interested in. So I got this tiny, tiny bikini set. It is absolutely tiny. I got everything in an extra small and I'm a 32A. These are tiny. <laughs> so if you are anything bigger than a 32A, this is not going to fit your boobs. It is absolutely tiny. I mean, I could have probably gone up to a size small. This is sort of a triangle top, but not quite because if you look at the shape of this top, it's not one of the regular triangles. It's more of like a bralette shape, like a bralette like this shape. But uh, the material is really nice. It's a very soft, silky material. Look at that real close up. And it, the lining on the inside is the same color as the outside, but it's a different fabric on the inside. So unlike the Shein bikinis, which usually have a white lining, these have the same color. Uh, this string is super tiny. It's like a, reminds me of a hair tie actually. Uh, I'm not sure how secure or how durable this is gonna be, but it really is cute in this one. One of the reasons I bought it because it really will not leave a very big tan line at all. It's just very, very skinny. This one ties in the front um, and it's uh, just a regular halter tie in the back. And the bottoms that go with it, these are the side tie bottoms that go with that top in particular. It is a thong back, so yes, completely bare. This is not a family friendly bikini. This is a, I'm hanging out in Mykonos or going to Mexico, vacay vibes, bachelor party type bikini or Vegas. It is absolutely tiny. It does sit up high, kind of high on your hips or you can pull it up that way. It is very, very flattering. Makes your legs look super long. I highly recommend it for, you know, a nice beach vacation is really cute again if you have bigger boobs I would definitely size up this barely fit me and I'm a 32a so if you're even smaller in the bus than me this would be perfect for you because it, it I found very few swimsuits that are an extra small that actually even fit a 32a they're usually like a size I feel like they cut them for like a 32b person and it's more like a medium or small to a medium. Usually the extra small is not small enough, but this definitely is true extra small. So if you're looking for a sexy bikini, this one is really cute and it actually comes in a bunch of different colors. The, again, these are separate, so you can you buy separate sizes for each if you need a bigger top and a smaller bottom. I will say their tops and their bottoms run about, I think 25 to $30 per piece. So a bikini, a two piece bikini is gonna run you about 60, $65 which is a lot more than Shein, but I would say the quality is pretty good. This next bikini is actually made by Old Polly. Um, so I got this one because I really loved the color. It is really beautiful. It's again, that soft, 
uh, satiny fabric, which is really, really nice. The straps are not quite as thin, but they're still pretty thin. The color is so gorgeous. Um, it's got this, yeah, the satiny fabric again. It is the same fabric on the outside as on the inside, so you won't have any of that white lining showing through. It's the same color. The seaming is a little bit different on this one. You can actually see the sewing is different. It's got the zigzag, whereas the Nima Swim one didn't have any kind of seams and it was a lot more delicate. So the Old Poly is a little bit thicker, more durable material, I guess I would say. But I did like the fact that the Nima one was uh, thinner and didn't have this thick seam right here. These bottoms were super high-waisted. They might be a little bit too high for me. I'm 5'4", and they're just, I think they sit a little too high for me. I think this is meant for somebody a little bit taller, maybe. This is, this part of it is adjustable. So, like, this is the front of the bikini bottom, and it is kind of adjustable, so you can make it skinnier if you want to. But it is already really skinny. <laughs> this is actually, again, a thong back. On this one so the front and the back are pretty much the same width almost and yes you can make it smaller or wider if you want it to so the top is a regular triangle top and again this these came in a bag that actually said old poly and said Nima on it but this bikini top was a lot bigger than the Nima one so the old poly bikinis are a little are quite a bit bigger in terms of the tops so again, I got these in an extra small. Everything is in a size extra small. Again, the straps are thicker, but not overly thick, I would say. This again was is that same gorgeous yellow fabric. I really like this, except that the top I thought was ever so slightly too big for me. <laughs> um, I think it's just on the cusp. I would say this is pretty good. I would say this is more like a small than a true extra small. It did really look flattering. It's your typical triangle bikini where you tie it and a halter on your top and your back. Again, this is uh, just like the Nemo swimwear. These I don't think are really meant for waves and stuff. It's probably gonna fall off, but they are great for tanning and relaxing, and it is very flattering. I love triangle bikinis because they are so flattering on a small chest, and this is the same. I do like the shape of this triangle, that it's not too like short and not too long. It is a very good uh, ratio from the base to the top body. As you know, if you have a smaller chest, um, it's kind of hard finding a good triangle bikini, I would say, because they're usually too big or the ratio is off and it looks weird. But this top, I would say, is a good um, size top. I just wish it was slightly smaller. This next bikini set I have been eyeing for a long, long time, and was it was one of the reasons I wanted to buy swimwear from Opali, only to discover later on that it's actually by a brand named Nina Swimwear. But um, I originally wanted this set in white, but I kind of like the purple color. This is that really popular cross halter style where it has a big hole in the middle. This definitely runs small. The top on this one runs very, very small. Um, I made, again, 32A, and it barely covered. The hole in the middle was really, really big. The strap on the bottom part is actually extra long, so you can wrap it around and tie it in the front, so it looks really cute, makes your waist look really snatched. It is overall very flattering. Again, the fabric on the inside is the same color as on the outside. It's actually, I think, the same fabric. Um, this fabric, though, does snag really easily. I think I've already snagged it a little bit right there with my nail, my really sharp nails. So it is kind of delicate. I can't believe I already snagged it. I haven't even worn it out yet. <laughs> this fabric is really smooth and silky and I guess really delicate. So if you wore it to the beach, you might just get it all scratched up, I think. I'm not sure. I haven't worn this out yet. But this top, unlike uh, some of the other brands, this does have boning on the side to keep it like kind of straight up which is very nice. Um, again, this isn't an extra small. I think as a 32A, I, I probably should have sized up. I would size up in this maybe to a size small if I bought it again. Um, personally though, I might just keep it because we're going to Milos pretty soon and I don't know if this would come on time <laughs> if I tried to order it again with how long shipping took from Opali. But I do kind of like this great color. It's different than what I usually wear. I usually wear a lot of white, so that's why I wanted it in white. The bottom that I ordered with this also, same tiny little straps. Uh, it is also pretty much just a thong as well, just like the other ones. This part is adjustable, so you can make it skinnier if you want to, but uh, I, it's already pretty small, so you can adjust it. Again, it is high-waisted or it is a high-cut leg, so you pull, you can pull it up really high in your waist. This one, unlike the um, 
what is it, the Opali version of this type of swimwear. This doesn't go up quite as high, which is good. It's a really good ratio for somebody that's my height and my body length. I'm about 5'4", and this sits on the perfect part of my hips when I hike it up. Whereas the old poly one was a little bit too high and too long and too tall for me. So if I was maybe another like three or four inches taller, that would have probably been better. But otherwise, this looks really cute. I can't wait to wear this in the summertime. That cross ultra style is so popular right now. I actually bought a very similar bikini from Amazon before uh, I bought the old poly one because we were going to Myrtle Beach and I wanted to wear it, but then I forgot to pack it. <laughs> so this is the Amazon one and it's very similar. It's the same shape, kind of like the cross ultra with a big hole in the middle. Um, this has a much thicker, or this has a tie back, whereas the one from Opali Nima Swimwear doesn't have a tie, it's just a straight back. This one does not have any boning, but it's the same, same kind of style. I really love this jewel toned green color, it's really pretty. The inside though is white, it's not um, the same color fabric as the outside, but that's okay because wearing this, it doesn't really flip out, you know, it doesn't like do this kind of thing where it flips, so that seems to be all right. I do really like these gold details on the ends where it has this like little gold square metal end part, which is really cute, I thought. Um, this one does fit really well, I think I got this in a small, I believe I got whatever size the smallest size they had available, and it fits really, really well. This is very slightly bigger than the Nima Opali swimsuit that's like this, so I would go with your normal size. Oh, actually, I got a size small, yeah. It says right there, size small. Now, this, as where the Opali one wraps around your waist, the top does, this one is really cute because the bottom wraps around your waist. So this bottom is another thong, or uh, not, it's got a little bit more coverage than the old poly one but i would say it is still pretty much almost a thong not very family friendly but this is the front and the old ring is actually the back and you wrap these straps around your waist toward the front and you tie it and it looks really cute it makes your waist look really slashed and it's really flattering again this was a great height for me unlike the old poly so the yellow swimsuit, which uh, was too high for me, this one actually hits me really perfectly on the hips. It's got that high cut leg, really flattering, makes your legs look a mile long. So this is a really great alternative to the Opali one if you can't wait like two weeks and if you don't want to spend that much money. This one is definitely not as good in terms of quality. The fabric though is probably a little more durable because you know I haven't snagged it yet like the Opali one, which just already got ruined from me touching it. <laughs> so this one is probably gonna be really good, um, be a little bit more durable than the Opali one uh, from Nima Swim. So it's also only, I think like 20, $25, I believe, maybe 30 at the most. So for one whole set, you'll be spending about $30, whereas the Nima Opali swimsuits run about $30 per piece for one top or one bottom. So for a whole suit, you're gonna spend about 30, I mean, you're gonna spend about $60. I also did wanna mention that none of the Opali swimwear, the tops had any kind of padding. They were lined in the same color fabric as the outside, but they did not have any padding removable or otherwise. The Amazon one, however, does have removable padding on the inside. So if you care about that, I might want, you might want to go with the Amazon version instead or any of the Shein bikinis. Those always, almost always have removable padding. I did link something similar down below that's from Shein that's maybe like $15, similar to this kind of style. I will include that in my next Shein swimwear haul, which will be coming up soon. So remember to like and subscribe. That is it for this review of Opali swimwear. If you liked it, please remember to like and subscribe down below. I also linked all my purchases down below in the description box. So if you wanna shop, go ahead and do that. I've also linked the equivalents or the Amazon one I found and also a Shein bikini that I found that is very similar. That's, you know, quarter the price. Thanks for watching as always. Bye.